This is San Diego News Now. Well, there's new hope for more than 20 million Americans who suffer from asthma. The big discovery by local researchers that could translate into groundbreaking treatment. Do you experience wheezing and coughing and shortness of breath? More than 20 million Americans suffer from asthma, and that includes 9 million children. Asthma-related health care costs are estimated to be $14 billion annually in this country. But there is some hope. A major asthma discovery by a researcher at the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology marks a major milestone in asthma research. And joining us today is Dr. Mitchell Cronenberg, who is president and scientific director of that institute. Thank you, doctor, for being here. Thank you for so having tell me. Us, this really is a big biotech success story, isn't it? It is in a way, but we're a nonprofit research institute. So we're like the Idea Lab. Right. And now a biotech called Metamune is developing what we've discovered in the lab. Okay, so what have you discovered in the lab? Well, we've discovered basically a target, and it's a target that we believe is sort of the first domino in the domino effect that of inflammatory reactions and cell reactions that lead to lung damage and asthma. Okay, and so how do you apply that now to some particular type of treatment? Well, what, what was done actually was uh, an antibody to a, a particular molecule on the surface of white blood cells was made, and it blocks this molecule from causing these white blood cells to get all stressed and excited and causing this inflammatory reaction. And it worked very well. So if you, so people who have asthma now, they take what in order to treat themselves? Well, there's, uh, they take bronchodilators, which help to open up the lungs, and they take uh, steroidal compounds that sort of quiet down the immune response. But what we've done here, and I want to stress this was done in my colleague's lab, Michael Croft, <laughs> what we've done here is actually refine the target to one molecular target that we think is really at the top of the cascade for many asthma sufferers. All right, so if, let's say it, it proceeds as is. What are you looking at in terms of people who suffer from asthma? Would they, would they end up, I mean, now they use the inhalers. Right. Would this be something that they would take orally? Well, most likely, actually, it would be something that would be injected into the patients huh. and probably a couple of times a year, maybe every That's two all. months or every three months, and probably for the more severe cases. That would, that would provide a tremendous amount of freedom for people who suffer from asthma. Yeah, we certainly hope so. And, and if it progresses along this route, how much money do you think we would save in health care costs in terms of treating asthma? Well, it's like you said, the, the cost in terms of medicine and lost time and so on is in the billions. It's, it's a little hard to calculate, but certainly uh, Metamune and others think that this is a very promising avenue and it will, it will save a lot of money for, for the public. Well, the good thing is you're here in San Diego. We're going to follow the progress and you'll keep us up to date on any new breakthroughs as we move down this path. I'd be very happy to. Thank you. Doctor, thank you for being Thanks with us. Thanks a lot. All right. Catherine?